On behalf of the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority, I am honored to welcome you all to the 2017 ITU Global Symposium for Regulators here at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort under the theme, Living in a World of Digital Opportunities. The hosting of this conference by IRCA on behalf of the Government of the Bahamas and in partnership with the International Telecommunication Union is the crown among many achievements in decades of close participation and cooperation between the ITU and the Bahamas. During the last few years in particular, IRCA, on behalf of the Bahamas, has had the undoubted privilege of becoming an increasingly active participant in the work of the ITU locally, regionally, and indeed internationally. We hope to continue this relationship for the betterment of the Bahamas and the ITU. I extend my personal thanks to the Secretary General of the ITU, His Excellency Mr. Holin Zhao, and the Director of the ITU's Telecommunications Development Bureau, Mr. Brahima Sanu, and the entire ITU team for engaging and supporting the close relationship we have built together and supporting our efforts to establish the Bahamas as a key partner in the ITU's work in this region. IRCA is particularly grateful to the ITU representative for the Caribbean region, Cleveland Thomas, who has been an outstanding conduit to the ITU for us and the entire region. IRCA also owes its thanks to the government of the Bahamas and in particular to Dr. the Honorable Hubert Minnis, Prime Minister, Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, and the Honorable Ellsworth Johnson, Minister of State for Legal Affairs. From the first day after forming the government just a few short months ago, IRCA has received unwavering support from every member of the government. We are particularly honored to have the Prime Minister's presence for today's opening and as host for this evening's gala dinner. The journey to Bahamas' hosting of GSR began at GSR 13 in Warsaw, Poland, and we would not have achieved it without the support of the then minister with responsibility for government relations with IRCA, former Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Mrs. Alison Maynard Gibson QC, who eventually signed the hosting agreement with Secretary General Zhao at ITU World in Bangkok in 2016 and we are also honored to have her here this afternoon. As the regulator for the electronic communications sector in the Bahamas, IRCA has been a participant in the GSR for several years. We are excited to be the host for GSR 17, and we can assure you that the ITU team, supported by our local conference team, has put together a stimulating agenda which will afford you an opportunity to deliberate matters of key regulatory and policy importance, network with your peers and counterparts from across the globe, as well as finding some time to experience the culture and environment that has made the Bahamas one of the premier tourist destinations in the world. A guiding principle of the Bahamas government's economic agenda is the creation of a more open, productive, and competitive society and economy, which is essential to the Bahamas' ability to compete successfully in today's global environment. IRCA is convinced that ICTs provide the most promising platform upon which the Bahamas can build and enhance our society and economy, and our goal is the accelerated development of ICTs in the Bahamas. We seek to do our part as a regulator and policy advisor to move the Bahamas to leadership in ICTs in the shortest possible time. To achieve these aims, the regulatory and policy environment in which we develop the ICT sector must be nimble, flexible, and transparent. The deliberations at the GSR offer opportunities that will help us to design and implement those policies and regulations. 
The topics explored within yesterday's pre-event and those which we will explore together for the next three days of GSR are not only at the leading edge of the international ICT debate, but are also of particular relevance to us here in the Bahamas and in the wider Caribbean and Americas region. Yesterday's debate on the security of digital financial services is a critical topic for the Bahamas and many other countries in the region that rely on financial services as a pillar of their economies. You may not all be aware that IRCA's regulatory mandate covers more than the Bahamas' electronic communications sector, which is in itself a converged role which comprises telecommunications, broadcasting, and spectrum management. In addition, IRCA advises the government on policy matters touching on the electronic communications sector, represents the Bahamas at the ITU and other similar international agencies, and regulates the Bahamas' electricity sector. With our dual role as regulator of the electronic communications sector and electricity, which may grow to include other sectors in the future, IRCA is very interested in the discussions on collaborative regulation and smart cities, which will take place here at GSR 17. The discussions on 5G technologies and roaming in the age of the Internet of Things will take us into the next decade, bringing us closer to the advances which will define our lives in the years to come, and how the regulatory and policy environment will need to adapt to accommodate new technologies. We believe and hope that these discussions will help us find ways that IRCA can best leverage its multi-sector role to achieve the maximum benefit for the Bahamas across all the sectors we regulate, and to help propel the country forward through the seamless integration of technology into our economy and society. The regulators among you will know the GSR 17's consultation process has already begun, and regulators have begun to identify and recommend innovative and collaborative policy, regulatory, and business measures to lift barriers and achieve affordable access to the digital world. Some of the matters under consideration relate to infrastructure and connectivity, consumer access, market and business opportunities, funding and finance, the adoption of innovative licensing regimes, and ways to incentivize new business models for covering remote and rural areas. With our varied geography, society, and economy, we believe that we can not only share some of the valuable lessons we have learned here in the Bahamas with our international counterparts, but that we will also learn new approaches which can be used to enhance ICT development across our archipelago. And unless you think that we have brought you here to do nothing but work, I am happy to remind you that IRCA and the government of the Bahamas has organized several social events for conference delegates, which will ensure that you all have an opportunity to see some more of our beautiful country and to experience our delightful Bahamian culture. Last night, I was pleased to mingle with some of you over cocktails at Atlantis' Dig Deck. And this evening, I look forward to joining you for the official gala dinner, which will be held at the Bahamas' newest mega resort, Bahamar, under the auspices of the Prime Minister and Mrs. Minnis. Tomorrow night, we will cap off the social event calendar with our This We Tains Bahamian Cultural Street Festival, which will provide an informal environment for you to experience a selection of our culture in a setting among some of Nassau's most scenic historical landmarks. Against the backdrop of our art, architecture, and highlights of our history, we will treat you to some of our music, our tasty culinary delights, and some unique local experiences. To all our international delegates and attendees, welcome to the Bahamas, and thank you for joining us in paradise for this momentous event. IRCA is proud to host GSR 17, and we will do our very best to ensure that your experience is second to none. I thank you.